Hi, welcome back, my dear student. This is Edwin from the future. That's right. I already completed the course. I already finished the project, but I come sometimes to help you guys out, avoid problems in the future. All right. Just because I know everything that's going to happen in the future, because I'm from the future, I'm going to help you right now. So I want you to go to your admin underscore header that PHP file and right above here. And if you don't, you should have this includes uh, function here already, but if you don't, don't worry about it. But this should be there. Of course, this is our database. I want you to actually create this PHP tag and this uh, open it and close it. And then in between that, I want you to write this function down, which is called OB underscore start. This is output buffering. We're going to need this when we are redirecting um, users or redirecting uh, pieces of coding or application later on. All right. So make sure that you put it all the way in line one of your editor. Again, it's called OB underscore start. All right. So when we use a function called header like this later on to redirect, that's when we need to turn this on. All right. So this function is in charge of sending requests, actually buffering our requests in the headers of uh, the, pro the scripts. So that way, when we are done with the script, it will send everything at the same time. Right now, PHP is sending each request one by one. So if later on we use this function header in the body, it will give you an error if you don't have this function here because it will try to send a request in the body when all the headers are already being sent. All right. So just remember that we need this right on top of the file. All right. And if your file doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry. All you have to have is this OB underscore start function right here on the admin underscore header in the first line. All right. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you in some next lectures.